Hey guys, there's some news in the dollar. Last week, Egypt joined the BRICS Development Bank, the gateway drug to the BRICS grouping seeking to replace the United States as economic and financial linchpin of the world. It's another brick in the wall. Beyond the founding members, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, everybody gets a letter, about two dozen countries are either formally joining or expressing interest, including Argentina, Nigeria, and Mexico. Now, the development bank doesn't mean these countries are going to be colonies of China. It's mainly access to cheap loans, especially from China. So in a sense, countries are being paid to join. But once they're in, the goal of BRICS is to unite their political and economic muscle to diversify from dependence on the dollar and on the increasingly unreliable and bullying United States. So it's not quite as formal as the EU, but the goal is similar, a strong voice independent of the US. This matters because the BRICS combined are already nearly half the world's population, about 3.2 billion, sorry, that was my cat, about 3.2 billion on the way to 4 billion with those new countries kicking the tires. Their combined GDP is 27 trillion, even in nominal terms, so that's higher than the US. And in PPP terms that control for local prices and manipulated currencies, their economies are twice the size of the US already, and they're growing faster, so they're on their way to three times. So BRICS is definitely a challenge to U.S. dominance, more than the EU will ever be. The question is, will BRICS also be a challenge to the U.S. dollar? Because one strategic goal of BRICS is to build a currency to rival the dollar. In the near term, countries in the BRICS are more likely just to use their own currencies to replace the dollar, for inner BRICS trade at least. Still, remember that's nearly half the world. And if they could develop a euro-like common currency, especially if China is willing to take one for the team and effectively subsidize usage of the new currency, that's what they do with the yuan, then they could be an actual contender. I think most people sort of knee-jerk dismiss poor country currencies as if they're just bad at money, but quality of a currency has nothing to do with per capita income. It's based on the prudence of monetary policy. So is the currency a good store of wealth or is it inflationary? And whether the currency is used to bully other countries on foreign policy or even domestic policy like the U.S. does. So if BRICS were to bring in a stable currency and a non-interventionist policy, it would be a contender even for non-BRICS trade that makes up the other half of world trade. The real game changer for BRICS and the dollar, though, would be something both China and Russia have flirted with, a gold-backed currency. Russia implemented an odd kind of gold backing early in the Ukraine war, and both China and Russia have been buying gold at a furious rate for 20 years. So that's fueling speculation that they could be planning to use it to back a currency. If they do roll out a gold-backed currency, that would be one actually redeemable in gold, like you can mail your dollar and they mail you back some gold, BRICS would overnight move towards dominance over the dollar. It would become the safest store of wealth among currencies, and if you paired it with a non-interventionist foreign policy, it would be a clear winner over the dollar. In another video, I talked about consequences of a dollar collapse if this does happen, so consequences for the U.S. economy, and a gold-backed competitor would be the fastest way to do it. Now, this is probably still years off. They're still developing systems to replace the dollar's payment rails called SWIFT, even for internal BRICS trade. Still, the writing's on the wall. As long as the U.S. runs trillion-dollar deficits while weaponizing the dollar, there will be interest in finding or even building a replacement. And given China's deep interest and deep pockets, it's only a matter of time. All right, we'll be watching. See you next time.